So I know absolutely nothing about American politics or pretty much <laughs> politics in general. So I brought on the well, expert. We look at American politics a bit like watching monkeys in a zoo. Because we don't live in America, so everyone else around the world looks at it, you know. They're a real interesting bunch, the American politicians. I don't know whether calling them the monkeys in the zoo was the best analogy I think that it could was. have been used. I think it was the monkeys in the zoo. He means looking at them from the outside yeah. perspective. Monkeys in a zoo. Just sounds really bad, mate. you got yeah. to admit that sounds dodgy, don't well, it? it's, it's, it's It's factual. What else? Hippos in a zoo? <laughs> well, they do have an obesity what else? problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you can go out there and you can say that, but I can't call them monkeys. No. Even though monkeys are very smart, sophisticated animals, I call them hippy, hi hippos, and you're like, well, they are fat. <laughs> so on this video, we're going to watch American politics with absolutely no context. Yeah. And see if we understand yeah. any of it. See if we can understand what's going on, who the people are, what they're talking about, and why they mean what they mean. Because are they the main two again this year? Yeah. See, I don't even know who else is. Is The Rock running this no, time? No, The Rock's not running, no. He wanted to, didn't he? Or Kanye. Kanye. Remember when no, Kanye he's, he's was... No, he's not running. No. Statement that we have to give 10% to the big man. You're the big man, I think. I don't know. Maybe you're not. But you're the big <laughs> man, I think. Your son said we have to give 10% to the big man. Joe, what's that all about? What is that all about? Do you I don't know. Big man? Joe doesn't know. I thought Donald was going to be making a penis reference. Oh, but then he didn't really, you know. Big it's, man Joe. It's like big man. I don't know if big you're a man big man. Big man Joe. Joe. Mr. President, how is it called President Erdogan? Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. They recommend the babies confess. <laughs> Vishy Runak. Uh, Do you know who he He's is? He's currently the British Prime Minister. He's sitting there like <laughs> Joe. Uh, Joe, I needed to talk to you about something, buddy. Uh, Joe, and Joe's just... Well, Joe's just zoned out. I think that that British Prime Minister, whose name I can't even remember from when you said it a moment ago, he's doing exactly what I like to do, and that is avoiding any <laughs> sort of eye contact. He's just sitting there like, Joe, 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 Joe. No, but he's Joe, looking he's at the bushes. Talking. He's like, what colour are those flowers? <laughs> he's like, Joe, Joe. Joe. He's like, I'm uncomfortable. He's gonna, he's gonna You're asking it. so many yeah. questions. They recommend the babies confess when being racist. A lot of... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> they recommend the babies. To be fair, they should. I think that was a scenario where Mr. Ted Cruz was talking about a book that had been made and it was a real work book. And it, yeah, he was talking about it. He didn't agree with... Yeah. Ah. So the book was explaining how kids should confess when they're racist. A lot of people who go into prison go into prison straight, and when they come out, they're gay. So, did something happen while they were in there? The yes. Democratic yes. <laughs> this is very out of what context. What conversation would that be? <laughs> I don't know. I think they're just talking about maybe it gets a bit lonely in prison. How do you come out gay? Well, because you only, you know, when you're around dudes for that long, you think that that's the only way of life. Maybe you get, like, an extra bread roll at lunch from a bloke, and you're like, you're all right, mate. <laughs> You know, you seem like my kind of guy. He holds up the Bible, and I hold up the Bible as, as well as anybody. <laughs> as well as anybody. He holds up the Bible just as good as anybody I, else. I've never noticed, but he looks kind of similar to his wife. Yeah. Like, they have the same eyes. She's a funny-looking chick, man. Yeah, but they look like they're She's almost... She's a funny-looking... Look at her. She looks like a fucking robot. If I don't know, I would say that they were siblings. I think, I don't know. I feel like there's some similarities Maybe. there. Maybe they just go to the same tanning salon. Uh, Their eyes are almost the same, you know? Yeah. She's the female Donald. <laughs> then why can't Congress write a law like that? That's a very good... Who the f*** sits like that? <laughs> Who the f*** sits like that? You do when you're trying out a chair, but that's the only time I'd ever do it. Yeah. You know when you're trying to get every, like, inch of that chair felt? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to sit with it cross for long periods of time, I don't think, because then my balls would move. Yeah. But sometimes you can on certain days, and it's not as uncomfortable. Mm. Those are the days that I enjoy. Question like all the questions Harry and Louise have been asking over the past year. What I love when people say sentences while also laughing. It just does something for me in terms of it hits my funny bone. You know when like they're talking for a sentence and they're kind of like <laughs> they're kind of like doing this and uh, you know <laughs> you listen to him. Why can't Congress if, write a law? Wait for it. 
That's a very good question, like all the questions Harry and Louise have been asked. <laughs> like all the questions Harry and Louise have been asked. Harry and Louise. <laughs> what a, a small businesswoman does in her bedroom. Again. Who appointed you Pope? Again. And God bless the United States. <laughs> and God bless the United States. Snitch. And the United States. Mike Pence in the background. He's right? the one who got the haircut. I see demons. Isn't he? <laughs> yeah. I'm learning. Slowly. Yeah. Politics. <laughs> That's a fit boy. <laughs> That's a fit boy. That's a fit boy. He's Don't not say wrong, that to any kids. He's not wrong. He's in good shape, Robert. John. Robert. How do you know him? It's he's running for president now. That's John F. Kennedy's nephew. Is it? So John F. Kennedy's brother, who was also assassinated, that's his son. So Okay. So he's the next Kennedy that's running for president, but he's not gonna win because they won't let him. I wanna go to the gym. I wanna look like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Except I wanna be younger. Yeah. So he used to be a drug addict. Did he what type roids? Saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once. Shame on shame on you. <laughs> Who's he spotted in the crowd? He just, he just zoned out. I do that. <laughs> yeah. Fool me once, shame on you. <laughs> Uh, you didn't have a long enough pause. Right. You got to pause for twenty seconds. Yeah. There's an old saying in Tennessee. I know oh, it's in yeah. Texas, probably in Tennessee. That says, "Fool me once, shame on, shame on you." <laughs> well, I I still don't know much about politics. 